Getting a new job offer is always exciting. Going through the interview process is always exciting. But there are some red flags that I think you should look for as you're going through these interviews. If I would have known these red flags, I would have avoided some very painful experiences. The first is a very quick interview process. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not asking for an extremely difficult interview. That's fine, it depends on the company. But when I mean a quick interview process, I mean as far as the number of steps and how fast they pass you through these steps. Every time that I've been through an extremely quick interview process, it has never turned out to be a good company or a good job. Obviously, I can't say the name. I was really impressed with the name, you know, very well-known company, and I wanted the job. The interview process was like this. I applied to the job on the weekend. On Monday, a recruiter called me just to get more information about my background. You know, she asked some questions about, you know, my resume and wanted me to explain some things, but let's be honest. Unfortunately, a lot of recruiters, they may not understand a word that you're talking about, and everything sounds good. So she passed me along to the next step, which I would have assumed have been, you know, a team or maybe a panel interview, an interview from a developer. She passed me to the next step, which was a video interview with the actual hiring manager, which was on that Wednesday early afternoon. So, you know, I didn't think much of it, but, you know, I went along with the interview. It was an hour long interview. And even then I didn't really get the sense they were really interested in my background. They knew what I knew technically, but they didn't really ask many questions about me, how I am, what I'm looking for, what type of environments that I like to work in. After the hour interview, I received a phone call later in that afternoon offering me the position. They offered me a specific salary and I told them I wanted to take some time to think about it. Obviously I wanted to counter offer. So I emailed them and I sent the counter offer. That same afternoon, less than an hour after I sent the counter offer, I received a call saying that they wanted to accept my counter offer, but they wanted to give a signing bonus. Me not knowing any better, this is my first time going through the interview process this quick. I'm thinking like, wow, I must be an amazing candidate. You know, they really want me in, which they did, but later on I found out why. So I ended up accepting the position and man, <laughs> That ended up being one of the most challenging companies I've ever worked for. It took me some time to realize, but I understood why the interview process was so quick. It ended up being a backfield position. They had a high turnover rate and they had some big projects that were coming down the line in the next two or three months. They needed help and they needed help immediately. Once I started working, I realized that there were other developers on the team who didn't have much time there either. They may have been there maybe a month ahead of me some even got hired right after me which is fine if the company is growing but if the company isn't necessarily growing it could just mean they have a very high turnover rate which is obviously very bad the environment just wasn't a positive environment none of the developers were happy and i kind of see why the interview process was so quick at this point nobody asked for an extremely difficult interview but if something seems almost a little too easy that's a big red flag and you should probably look further into this interview process and look further into the company. The second thing regarding the interview process is not being able to speak to other developers. This can be a factor depending on how the company chooses to do their interview process. Sometimes they just don't involve you know, a panel interview and sometimes you really just don't get the chance to speak to other developers. You may end up talking to a recruiter or a technical recruiter. Then you may end up speaking to the hiring manager, somebody on that same type of level. Then after that, you may end up speaking to a director or somebody hired in a hiring manager. But sometimes that panel interview or just even a one-on-one -on -one interview with the developers is not really there. And depending on the company, I can kind of see why. Anytime I've had an interview with just developers, a lot of times they don't really have the interviewing skills. I mean, it's a skill to be able to interview people. If you're if you interview for a JavaScript position, the developer look up you know JavaScript interview questions and they ask you all these questions, but they don't really know you. They don't really know how you. Would fit with the team. So some companies may choose not to include the developers for that reason. If it's the opposite where they don't include developers just because they don't want you talking to the developers, then that could be an issue. When you're interviewing for a position, the managers, everybody you're talking to, even now to the recruiter, they're gonna make you feel like this is the best company you could ever imagine working for, which may or may not be true. But to get the real story on how it is working, you have to talk to somebody that's gonna be working at the same level you are. These are the people that you're gonna be more in tune with. A lot of times it's very informal. You know, the main thing you just wanna see is their chemistry. Just because everybody's smart, that doesn't mean that everybody may work together. So you have to kind of get a sense on if somebody may be difficult to work with or if they'll be easy to work with. And you'll only get that if you're able to talk to them beforehand. Very rarely will you have to bump elbows with the director, but you will have to work with your developers day in and day out. So if the developers are happy, then you should be happy. And that was another issue that I had as far as that interview process while I mentioned about being too quickly. 
I didn't get a chance to speak to other developers, so I kind of went into this position blindly and it didn't turn out well. So if you do get a chance to speak to developers, ask them how they like working in an environment, how the planning goes, do they have to push projects back a lot because that can mean that there's some just really bad planning and frustration. Are they able to deliver things on time? And overall, do they just seem happy to work there? The third thing is that during the interview process, you're only asked technical questions. Now, obviously you're in a technical field, so you have to assume that you're gonna be asked a lot of technical questions to make sure that you're even competent to take the job. But we're more than just developers. You know, we're more than just engineers. We are people. When you run into an interview process and they don't ask you anything personal, they don't try to get to know you, what your hobbies are, do you have a dog or a cat? You know, are you cat lady? If they don't ask you these type of things, then I've seen that they really just want somebody to fill the position. They're not really concerned with making sure that somebody is a good fit for them if you're a good fit then you will last longer which would be a benefit to you and them but if they don't care about you personally then even finding work-life balance might be tough obviously somebody that may have family they're gonna need more consideration when it comes to work-life balance you know what if their kids get sick or what if they have a family emergency or something that's gonna be different compared to somebody that's coming out of school with no family no other responsibilities outside of working so make sure that you have somebody that's interested in you your personal life and that comes into account i remember i had an interview and i was speaking with the director and i'm thinking you know well you know they're just gonna ask me some more technical questions and see if i'm a good fit but i was pleasantly surprised when the director asked me you know tell me something about you that's not on your resume i want to know you know some cool things that you like to do so i was able to talk about you know how I play bass guitar, you know, my different hobbies, going to the gym, just different things. And that helped lighten the mood so much because I saw that, you know, this director, this company, they're a people company. So I have a better chance of being happy there. Paired to another interview, it was just technical questions. It was so bad to where when I joined the meeting, they barely asked me my name again. And they just got to just technical question, question and question and question. And that lasted for an hour. It was the most exhausting and frustrating interview that I've ever had because I felt like they didn't really care who I was. They just wanted to know if I knew the answers to these questions. So as you go through these interviews, as you're looking for your first job, look out for these three red flags. An extremely easy or extremely quick interview process, if that's the case, check and see if this is a backfield position if they have some internal struggles. The second, not being able to talk to the development team. Ask if you can, if this is part of the interview process and if it's not, if they could set up a quick call, you know, with some of the other developers so you can speak to them to get a sense on things. And the third, is they only ask technical questions and they're not concerned about you during the interview process. If you see this, there's a big red flag. They might not really be interested in you at all as a person or what you have going on in your personal life. They just want somebody to push out projects. If you can avoid these three things, you have a better chance of finding a good job to where you'd be happy and you can stay there for a while.